Well, um, here to talk about Outlander, um, you're new to the cast, yes. so tell us a bit about your character. Um, my character, Joe Abernathy, um, he's a surgeon um, who throughout the series becomes a very good friend with Claire Randall. They share an office, as we are in at the moment, and um, you know, they become good friends. Um, he becomes a confidant for her, because as we know, you know, she, she holds many secrets. Um, but slowly but surely she starts to um, reveal what's going on in her life with him and, um, you know, and they, and they get on really, really well. Mm -hmm. why, why does she feel comfortable around him and why does she feel like she can tell, tell him these things? I think the main reason is um, when they first started medical school, um, they were both outsiders in the sense that it was very rare to have a woman at Harvard studying medicine and also it was very rare to have an African-American. I think that's the thing that kind of bonded them at first. So there were these two outsiders, both nice people. Um, and, you know, they kind of went, OK, well, let's just kind of form a friendship. And then it kind of grew from there. Mm -hmm. It's based on a series of hugely popular books. Yeah. Um, how, have you read those yet? Um, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 I've looked at them. <laughs> Just highlighted the character bits with Abernathy, I yes, guess. that's right, yeah. <laughs> Find out what happens next. Um, but massive legacy to the show as well, though, hugely yeah. popular. So, I mean, were you aware of any of that before you started? Before I auditioned for the job, I had no knowledge of the job. I mean, you know, I'd heard about it, but I hadn't seen it. I hadn't heard anything about it. Um, and so it's only when I got the role um, and then started to investigate and then saw series one saw it, um, and series two and then you sort of realize just how huge this universe is um, which is which is very exciting but also very daunting as well because you're you know because um, you're inheriting success and you're coming into a show that is hugely popular and you know and it's a very popular character as well in terms of the books mm -hmm. so there's a lot to live up to um, and, um, you know, there was, a, there was a few people that kind of went, oh, okay, so they've cast a British guy as an African-American. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Um, can he do the accent? It's like, well, I think he can, otherwise he wouldn't have got the part. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, but, um, but that's also, you know, a nice challenge as an actor to actually play something that's completely outside of your cultural... Uh, remit. Mm -hmm. and how, how did you go about researching that? I mean, obviously there's the books, but uh, I mean, did you base anything about experiences of African Americans at that time? Um, I just watched a lot of television. <laughs> which is a good source of research, <laughs> I guess. Which is a good source of research. And um, I've had a very brilliant dialect coach on this um, who's been extremely helpful. So, you know, so much of it is what we create on the floor. There's a certain amount you can take from the books but then it's really about what the actors and the director create within the space that makes the magic. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want to ask you, what's the one thing that we learn about um, your character that might surprise people? Oh, the one thing that we learn about my character. Um, oh, gosh. Um, am I allowed to say? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, are, are there more secrets in store, I guess, yes. uh, without revealing them? There are more secrets in store, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some interesting aspects that I'll leave, but I can't sort of... Let's leave it to when it comes out. Can't wait to see it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank you.